Greetings everyone, my name is Anuradha. I'll be presenting on integration of mind, body and soul, a conceptual guidance to a healthy lifestyle. The current conceptual paper focuses on the integration of the mind, body and soul and its relation to well-being from a conceptual perspective. Philosophy refers to the fundamental nature of knowledge, reality and existence. There are many kinds of philosophy. Holism is a type of philosophy. Holism is the philosophy of understanding people by addressing all factors associated with them. There are many interpretations to the term holism, which is spoken of frequently and used in many disciplines. Mental health here defines as a productive condition in which internal stability allows the person to utilize their capacity to match society's values via basic cognitive and social skills, feeling expressions, empathy and flexibility. Though holism theory was coined in 1929, this concept of holism has been long used in ancient non-Western societies and cultures, such as that in the Tamil tradition, particularly the Tamil Siddha tradition, which is a branch of Indian tantric system, where holism is being practiced. A holistic approach to non-Westerness was about embracing mankind with an interconnecting focus between the mind, body, and soul aspect, which differs from the mainstream Western culture perspective. The mind refers to the process of mental, while the body is said to include the biological, chemical, and physical aspect of the person. When these three things come together, a balance is reached on the person. A balance is achieved in a person. These qualities or characteristics that are present in the whole cannot be observed by merely looking at bits and pieces. Thus, the degree of internal equilibrium varies accordingly to the individual's harmonious state of body and mind. Now, let's look at Tirukural and ancient Tamil literature. Tirukural is known as a highly ethical texts according to Muniyappan Rajendran 2011. He also mentioned that it is an enlightening Tamil literature delivered by man to man in the post Sangam period of 31st century before Christ. Tirukural written by Tiruvalluvar who also known as Devapulavar or Poyapulavar. The term Tiru here represents holy or sacred and kural here means shortened or condensed. This literature text contains 133 chapters with 10 couplets or kurals in each chapter resulting in 1330 couplets. The categorization of selections and chapters in Tirukural was done much later by other scholars after the emergence of the Rukural itself. The methodology that has been used here would be the qualitative interpretative methodology. According to Oliver 2015, hermeneutics is a discipline that sets itself upon the task of specifying and justifying a methodology of interpretation originally of texts but by extension of many other interpretations it has also been called the science or art of interpretation. Dyer mentioned that hermeneutics refers to the practice and theory of interpretation. It involves understanding and interpretations that could be justified. It describes a theory of understanding and explains diverse 
methodology of interpreting texts, objects, and concepts. This method of interpretation was initially used in theology for Bible or Bibleic interpretation. Hence, after the effectiveness, it has been adopted in many scholarly research and now it is being described as a theory of understanding and explains diverse methodologies for interpreting texts, objects and concepts. Hermeneutics places its concerns in making data collected to be communicable and intangible. Hermeneutics stretches up across from history, epochs, methods and all the disciplines in the humanities, natural sciences and social sciences. In this study, hermeneutics interpretation was the choice used for the qualitative method. Now, let's focus on mental health. Mental health comprises of an individual's reaction, psychological aspects and societal well-being. It touches on how a person feel, think and act. It also aids in deciding how stress is handled, how an individual relate to others and how healthy choices are being made. It is a central and important component of health. The World Health Organization Constitution states that the mental health is more than just the absence of mental ailment or disabilities. It is important to note that an individual's mental health can change over time depending on many factors as can be seen. Kural from the Tirukural verse 111, in other words 111, highlights that a person should consider his reactions carefully with equal regards among the three divisions of men, namely friends, enemies and strangers. In Kural verse 113, Tirukural warns readers that in an event, though there are acquisition that can be advantageous and bring gain, one may attempt or one may be tempted to possess them. However, if that gain is a product of partiality, then the gain or acquisition should be avoided. The clarity of mind should be present under both circumstances, which are losers and gains as they are part and parcel of life. Kural verses 115, acceptance of this brings an individual to reality. The perception of mind is not unknown to the early Tamils and their civilization. The divine poet Tiruvalluvar, who wrote Tirukural, refers to it in verse 457, where he mentioned the mind and its mental faculties are very vital for an individual's progress. Kural verse 131 states that the way an individual carries himself makes a great influence on his presence. Propriety of conduct leads to eminence. It should therefore be preserved more than life. Hence, the clarity of mind is vital here. A state of being free from injury or illness is referred to as physical health. Components that cover physical health would be healthy diet, nutrition, healthy weight, personal hygiene, sleep and etc. Optimization of physical health can be looked into four main phases. The first phase, that cause of ailment, followed by the nutritional aspect, the treatment, and finally, the pillars of treatment. In conventional medicine, physical health plays an important part in an individual's overall well-being. A long-term health problem would be a chronic physical illness that will not go away, for example, diabetes, asthma, arthritis. Physical illnesses which are chronic can be managed, but they cannot be cured in accordance 
with this practice system. Similarly, according to Siddha Tirumular's concept of food, it is a clear practice that proper food, diet, acts as medicine. The dietary intake places an important role in Siddha medicine in maintaining the balance in mankind. Similarly, Tiruvalluvar spoke on food metabolism in Kural 947. According to the constitutional definition of World Health Organization, social health is a state of well-being, a positive height of health. It is a person's capability to handle and react based on diverse social environments. A person being socially healthy refers to an increased gradient of happiness that comprises a sense of belonging and concerns for others. Healthy relationship engages good communication and civic minus. Whereas being alone, self-centered and violent will contribute to ill effects on health causing stress and depression which are a threat to a person and others. Social seclusion and social exclusion both are causes of poor chances of survival with reduced degrees in quality of life, depression and increased risk for chronic diseases. Social integration denotes to the emotion of being chunk of a society. It mirrors the regularity of an individual with others alongside with the sense of fitting. Lack of social integration tends to lead to the estrangement from a society and the feeling of rejection is felt by the individual. At all times, humbleness needs to be established. The world has the eternal God as their first. One should keep in mind that even in places that retaliation is possible, bearing with reproach, even when retaliation is possible, is a great effort. Forget and forgive creates a balance within the self. This is preached in Tirukura. These are the two key elements in maintaining a healthy mind, body and soul. If this is not done in the long run, one will not be able to cope with the stress faced due to selfishness and since ancient scriptures passed through each generation by oral method and later parts were only recorded, the question may arise if these traditional mind concepts apply to the modern world. To answer this, a set of hypotheses as mentioned in below part proposes to re-evaluate the Tirukural in the higher the integration of mind, body and soul, the higher the adaptation of healthy lifestyle. The higher Tirukural virtues being incorporated, the higher the likelihood for a healthy lifestyle. The study findings involves in-depth inquiry and analysis of Tirukural, its practice and the literature in terms of its context and content for interpretation with regards to mind, body and soul in a holistic manner. Currently, the researcher involves in Tirukural interpretation. Each Tirukural couplet will be thoroughly checked for content accuracy. The researcher expected to find out the hidden meaning of the couplets on integration of mind, body and soul with regards to mental health issues. The sequel paper from this manuscript tend to focus on the connection between Tirukkural on mental health issues. From the findings, the researcher may be able to come up with a new framework for handling mental health problems using Tirukkural. The study is an essential and initial attempt to understand Tirukkural's connectivity towards a healthy lifestyle. Here are some of the references furnished for your readings. Thank you.